Uh, actually, got a story about Halloween. You know, Halloween's coming up. Halloweeny, Halloweeny, coming up. Yeah. Halloweeny. All right. So in Georgia, <laughs> hello Georgia. Georgia. Uh, there's a sheriff over there in Butts County. <laughs> Aren't you glad you don't live in Butts County? Where is it, Georgia? Butts County, I Georgia. I live in Butts County. B-U-T-T-S, Butts <laughs> County. That's where you can find I, I'm a sheriff of Butts County. Oh, I mean, how, boy. Would you, how would you like that? That's got to go, that'd go over well at the high school reunion. I, I wish Je- uh, Jackie Gleason were still alive. <laughs> perfect, right. Wouldn't it be perfect? <laughs> I'm the sheriff of Butts County. <laughs> you know, when I get home, I'm going to punch your mama right in the mouth. <laughs> so I'm the sheriff of Butts County. So Rock anyway, on. the sheriff of Butts County, <laughs> the last couple of years on Halloween, yes. has been going to sex offenders' homes, and he has been putting up signs, and these signs say, warning, no trick-or-treat at this address. Um, basically, if you're a sex offender, you're not supposed to be involved in, in Halloween or right. trick-or-treating. You're not supposed to be handing out candy. You're not supposed to be turning on your lights or anything like that. You're not supposed to participate in it. Unfortunately, however, there are those who still do, and they're sex offenders. So now, here's what we need to do. We need to turn on the phones here at 210-599-5555 and see if you agree or disagree with this sheriff. Right. Who is doing this? Now, you, you, you're looking at both sides of this, aren't you? This is a, this is, this is a little more complex. A than, sticky wicket. It's a little sticky. It's a little more complex, <laughs> I think. Uh, because, you look, viscerally or emotionally, I'm like, yeah, right on. Put it right there on the door, uh, especially if they're violating it. Um, on the other hand, though, every single one of those people, I would assume, uh, as a registered sex offender, uh, under that condition, you 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 can't be involved with kids. So you you can't. You're in violation of that. You're not you go supposed back to jail. To. You're not supposed to. You'll go back to jail if you are discovered to be handing out candy to, to kids. That's uh, that's how I understand it. Yeah. Right. So uh, while I uh, like the idea of a knowing where they are, frankly, I know that's not exactly. Uh, uh, in line with their rights, uh, but uh, to keep the kids away from those houses. Yeah. I can see the argument that, you know, they've already been through the process. They've gone through the system. <clears throat> they're living uh, out in the neighborhood. It's it's just a fact of life. They already have these conditions on them. Uh, is he is the sheriff not, you know, engaging in trespassing and... Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, maybe singling them out for harassment. You know what I mean? Not that I give a crap about pedophiles being harassed, mm-hmm. but from the privacy Constitu- uh, constitutionality of it, it's a little wonky. Now, this is what they say, and this is what the attorneys for the ones who are suing the sheriff, because they are, they're suing right. the sheriff. The attorney says the law allows the sheriff to put a list of registered sex offenders at his office, at the courthouse, on the Internet. It does not allow him to go door-to-door telling people that you have a sex offender living next door to you. I'm just not sure that this kind of action makes your kids any safer. It just makes your constitutional rights less safe. Well, if you're a – here's my personal feeling feeling on this, and I don't even know if I'm constitutionally sound. I believe I am. First of all, if you committed a crime, and to me, sexual offense against a child is one of the most heinous that you can commit. yeah, absolutely. You forfeit a lot of your constitutional rights. You know, just like we take away your right to vote, you you forfeit a lot of your constitutional rights. So personally, my feeling is, my emotion of this is, I'm good with them having a sign painted on the front of their house. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? And and from the standpoint of... I mean, full-time, year-round, I'm good with them having a tattoo on their forehead. Right. I I am a sexual offender, so that when they go to H-E-B, we know where they are. Right. And I understand that, that, but that should be a part of the process initially. If 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 you're going to have have a sign on the house, you know what, you can live here. But this sign has to stay on your own. All the time. That would be fine. Yes. The problem with doing it this way is that there are is that it catches everybody in that same net. There are folks who end up on that list who it just it's like a, a teetotaler could get a DWI. Somebody could end up on that list because of some screwed up thing that happened or some screwed up thing they did. 
and they're trying to get back to their lives. Well, that's true. And they're now being singled out, and you know, you put that out there, and they're the potentiality for harassment obviously is there. Well, so we have these laws on the books in these various communities that say you can't live within a certain number of feet right. of a school. Uh, you can't do this. You can't be involved with Absolutely, children and, right. and all that. But is it not okay? And I'm just asking the question, is it not okay for full disclosure, particularly at a time like Halloween, right. to say, hey, you know what? Uh, this dude, uh, he blew it. And you don't want your kids around right. this dude. And here he is. He's got a big red X on the front door. I'm fine with that. <laughs> but you know what? The way he's going about it is what bothers me. You're talking I, about going got, on the lawn yeah, and doing it's it? It's got to be, it should be a part of the process. So at the you beginning, say, you know what? Halloween, this sign goes on your door. So the judge should issue that. Well, it's going to be a standard or, or of the right. condition. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So when the judge. Uh, you know, issues the sentence and says you're guilty of the of the sex crime. Part of your you know time, you're going to do time in jail. And when you get out, there's going to be a mark on wherever you live. Yeah, a sign on your home that that indicates that. All right, right. So let's take some phone calls and see what you think. Al, you're on KTSA with Ware and Rima. What do you think, Al? Hey, how y'all doing? Well, when you're a felon here in Texas, you do not lose your rights to vote. That was passed a long time ago by. Uh, Hollywood Henderson, they're afraid for the Cowboys. So you do not lose your, your right to vote. Okay, we're not talking about the right to vote. So what do you think about this particular act that this uh, this sheriff in Georgia is doing, Al? Well, it doesn't matter. They do it here in Texas. What's that? They go around telling everybody that there's a sex offender that lives, you know, in the neighborhood. Yeah. Do you have you experience know, with us at all? Here. What's that? Do you have experience with this at all? Well, I mean, yeah, the sheriffs would come by when I was living in Austin. And tells and you? Would tell everybody in the neighborhood. <laughs> well, there that you there go. Was a sex offender living in the neighborhood. Would, 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 would that be okay? Well, you, you could already do that. I mean, it's like, I remember Mikey was, you could go online yeah. and look in your neighborhood. But can and the sheriff they, drive around you. and knock on doors and say, hey, living right here I, is so I think I, I, they must be able to do it. I mean, I don't know. Which was in Georgia, in Butts County, Georgia. <laughs> Butts County, Georgia. The uh, sheriff's been driving around past couple of years, and wherever the sex offenders are, Halloween, he's been putting up a sign that says, warning, no trick-or-treat at this address. Because the sex offenders aren't supposed to be allowing kids to trick-or-treat at their address. Right. And now all these sex offenders are suing the sheriff for putting a sign in front of their house saying, you're violating my constitutional rights by telling people that I'm a sex offender. Well, okay, so if it doesn't work this way, if this is a problem, then what you do as the sheriff, you go on every radio and television station in the world. It's on the website, the sheriff's yeah. website. Yeah. So you, or, or you publish it in the newspaper. You say... In these zip codes, 78218 zip code, where you and I are right now, 78218 zip code, these are the streets and the addresses of sex offenders. Yeah, in the I, newspaper. That I have no problem with. Yeah. I, I think really it's just the way he went about it that I think I'm a, that uh, is bothering me. Got you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Mark, you're on KTSA with Ware and Rima. Go ahead, Mark. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. I have no problem with the sheriff doing that and keeping his community safe. If you are a sex offender, people need to know. You know, just like it, you know, just like the whole deal. If you're free to make choices, but you're not free for the consequences of the choices that you make, make good choices. All right, thank That's you, Mark. You know, especially especially kids ought to know. Uh, right. Rain, go right ahead. You're on, Rain. What's up? Uh, hi. Uh, some state some states have um, if you pee on the side of the road and get caught, that is you become on the on the sex offender list. So is this including just pedophiles, or does it include people that get caught up in the statutory rape because? I've turned 18, and now uh, Daddy doesn't like my boyfriend. You know that kind of thing. The, does, does it, is it just for ch pedophiles? Or that, for that's kind adults? of well. That's kind of what I was saying. That you're you're going to get people caught up in that who are the people that you described. You know, they're a very small percentage, but there are people who end up on that list because yeah, they were drunk and they dropped their pants in public or something like that. So why isn't there then a pro and rain? Why isn't there then a problem with the list? Do you have a problem with the list at all? Well. The, if you if you have children, you know where all the lists are, and you should be informed as a parent where these lists are, and you should you should peruse them. As a, a president of, of a neighborhood association, but but, but, but hang on just a second. If, if if you can print a list with a guy's address on that list, why can't you put a sign in front of his house? What's the difference between because a list and a, and a sign in front of his house? 
because it, now you're you're targeting somebody who may not be a pedophile. Yeah, but you're doing. Aren't you doing the same thing with a list? I I, I think the list not exactly. Well, yeah. how is it different? How, how is the list different than a sign in front of the house? Because the list, um, you actually have to take the effort to go and get. Now you're encouraging impulse uh, reactionary. Um, I'm, I'm I, confused. I, 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 I don't mean to cut you off, but I'm confused if a list is, doesn't violate their constitutional rights, right. right? Because you end up on the list because you, you, you violate, you're a sex offender, right? Why, why not? What, what's the difference between a list and a sign? Well, the, the difference is is that when I go on to the list, I can see that the individual just dropped their pants when they were drunk, whereas this the sign doesn't discriminate, according to the pictures that I saw on the news, doesn't discriminate between a pedophile or somebody who was 18, got drunk at a party, and peed on the side of the road. Yeah, but the, a sex offender is a sex offender. That's, I mean, right? No. <laughs> They're not equal, no. Okay. Well, th- 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 right. this is what I meant by the DWI distinction, in that you can be somebody who never drinks, who is not an alcoholic, and you have a couple of drinks out of the blue, you get in the car, you get pulled over by a cop. Right, right. Now you are treated like an alcoholic as you go through the system and well, the process. Well, well, but the law doesn't differentiate between an alcoholic, right? And right. A, and a, D- a DUI is a DUI, whether you consistently have a problem with that or not. Yeah, but but what the process right. you have to go through, though, is you are an alcoholic because you go through the classes. Everybody has to go through classes if you get a DWI, right. which somebody who never drinks, it doesn't need. You see what I'm saying? No, no yeah, I understand. And, and so I guess what she's trying to say, and that's what I was saying earlier, <clears throat> in that, you know, by you, the, the sign, just going out and putting the sign up, again, is not part of the process. You know if you're on that list that there's a website where your address is. You know people can figure out who you are. That's part of the but process. I, I guess my I guess question... It's, it's, but, so when he just comes up and puts the sign there... My question is... That's out of the blue. Isn't the sign just an, ex- an extension of the list? This is a it sign is, saying and I'm it, on the list. Again, it is. And I have no... Pro- I personally have no problem with it, yeah. okay, in that sense, in right. that... You know, I'm looking at it from a guy who, when my kid was little, I did the same damn thing, where I knew where every house was, and I went on the websites that were available back then. Uh, I guess, again, it's just something about the process is bugging me okay. All right. with the way the, the way the sheriff's going about it. All right, it. Susan, go right ahead. What do you think? Hello? Yeah, go ahead, Susan. What do you okay, think? Uh, my, my take is that I rented a house in San Antonio with my kids, and a pedophile had lived there before, but uh, somebody on the block was so petty they didn't check with the the, the police. And they put out a flyer that we were all uh, over there with a pedophile, and and the kids weren't allowed to play with my kids. And uh, they stole our barbecue, and, and they came uh, with paint guns and shot at us. As we tried to get from our front door. Well, that's criminal activity. To the house. Yeah, that's criminal activity. And so when you put that up, some idiot down the street's gonna. Yeah, but that's criminal activity. Were, were you able to get that? Get your name off the list? No, we weren't. We weren't pedophiles. Uh, no, I know, but were you able to get your name off the list? I don't know who put the flyer out. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Susan. Appreciate it. All right. So, Carl. Over on the video feed says that in Bear County, all registered sex offenders are supposed to turn themselves in on Halloween, and then around nine o'clock at night they are released after Halloween is uh, supposedly over. Right. I I I had heard about that, but I wanted somebody to confirm it before we talked about it, and that's what Carl is talking about here on the video feed. Uh, I, and I'm fine with that. Are Again, you? they know that's going to happen. Okay. I think that's my issue here. Like, they expect that. That's a part of it. They know it's going to happen. Fine. You yeah. know, I'm, I'm totally cool with that. You know, again, I, I think it's really just sort of a, a, a way of going about it, that uh, the process. As long as it's a condition of their whatever. Like, right. Like. It, if it's a condition, it, you can make them do anything you want. You, you know, a DUI, some of them have to put the breathalyzer on yeah. their car where they got to blow before they go. Right. Or or they can't drive at all, right. you know, for a certain amount of time. So, right. I, you know, I if as long as it's a condition. I'm, you can do whatever the hell you want with them, man. Lock them up in a cage uh, every Christmas. Yeah, I don't full, care. Full disclosure, everybody yeah, knows right, that you know right. it, too. All right, J.C., what do you think about it, J.C.? You know, here we go again with another law where we're splitting the hairs. Look, sex offenders, 
are sex offenders. That's true. If you go out, if you go out and you uh, you sexually abuse a child, yep. then there's going to be consequences that come along with it. That includes a sheriff coming and putting on your home that you are a sex offender in order to protect other children. Now, I understand uh, what your partner is saying as far as on the other side. Some people get caught up in unique situations. Well, uh, he's, he used drunk uh, D, uh, DWIs. Well, guess what? If you didn't go out and get drunk and start driving in the first place, then you wouldn't have got up, caught up in that situation. Our society is still having a problem that when we go to try to correct a situation and try to protect the public, there's always going to be idiots out here that are going to say that uh, you got to do this and you got to do that and you got to do the other, and then we just end up doing the same thing over and over again, and it creates more and more controversy. <laughs> And that's why the people keep doing what they're doing. Person, personally, I, I don't have a problem with it because I think that, you know, if they put a red X on your front door, <laughs> that's fine. And, and as far as the, the DUI thing, differentiating against, you know, between somebody who did it once versus somebody who did it ten right. times, I don't think there's any differentiation. It's the same thing with a sex offender. It's it, still a crime, right? It, yeah. it, well, and, and, and we're not going to say, okay, if you did it once, then that's okay, uh, if you did it 10 times, that's not okay. So once, we're not going to put a sign on your door. 10 times, we're going to put a sign on your door. Once is as good as 10 times. Right, and I, and I understand everything everybody's saying, and, and I don't really disagree. You no, know? you don't. I, I think, I think no, the, you don't. I think the issue, though, is it, because of the subject matter, we, we have a very definite reaction. In a lot yes, of other do. situations, yes, we do. Yeah, when we do. we're talking about something completely different, process is everything we want the process mm. there you don't want somebody getting flagged as being uh, a, a person with mental health issues we have to go get their gun we want some kind of process that supports the constitution well, but these before you're able to but, come and get my gun but these people have already been through the process right it's, it's not that this they, is extra of the process they w what happens with these people is they've been through the process right. they, they, they are out of the process and then they have to register once they're out right. of the process they have to register as a as a sex offender, so they've already been through the due process, and really, one of the reasons I don't have a problem with it is that they, the law is written in such a way, and thank God that it is really, right. to favor people's uh, rights, and even the criminals' rights are protected, and so they are innocent until proven guilty, right, right. and so they've already been through a strenuous time for the state to prove a case against them. In other words. I, what I'm saying is, is that they've been given every break in the world to be able to beat this. Right. And they didn't beat it. Right. You know, it, it's much harder for them to be convicted than for them to. This uh, is true. It's ver very is hard. True. It's very hard to convict people in this country. And, and they're giving well, every break right. in the world. Which is which is a good thing yeah. because I, I'm people, almost, you, people can accuse you of anything. Right. You want that process to be there. And, and you want it to be hard to convict somebody. Right. But, you know, to me, I'm like, uh, you know, sex offender of a child, you go away. I was asked one time, in jury for die, what would I do? I'd, I'd put him under the prison. <laughs> I wouldn't put him I'd in the prison. The same thing. I'd yeah. dig a hole under the prison. And it was it was a it was a daddy who raped his daughter. Oh. And I was like, they asked me, what would you do to this guy if we if you found him guilty? <laughs> put him under the jail. Put what, him it, under the jail. You you wouldn't let me <laughs> execute him, right? Right. Execution is not an option, so he had to live under the jail. Right. Dig a hole. Hey, yeah, look, if here's here's I tell you what. I, I, I guess I, I can I can I can you know again I, I can deal with this if the sheriff says and calls him up and says you know what I'm com this is what I'm doing yeah. I'm coming to your house yeah. with a sign right yeah up ahead of time then it, you know in a sense it, it I understand or it. I totally get but what you're, you're just saying showing up and yeah. putting the sign out there yeah. and I totally get what you're saying as long as he knew it up front right they was told up front we're gonna put signs up there right. during during Halloween that's different yeah uh, all right Jennifer go right ahead hi good morning um. First off, I think parents need to be proactive in knowing who the sex offenders are. Um, I know that there is an app that you can download, and it tells you who they are, where they live, and what the offense was. Um, and secondly, I don't know that I necessarily agree with putting a sign up, but I'm more for, you know, if the sheriff and the personnel would be active in monitoring these houses and knowing that yeah. they are not mm. supposed to be 
you know, giving out candy and then issuing the appropriate citation. Yeah, after. yeah, or, or re-arresting, because if that's yeah. part of the, you know, that's, oh, yeah. that's part of your condition for release. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, and, and your light is on, and we see you handing out candy. Yeah, you're going to jail, You're buddy. going back in. All right, thanks very much, Jennifer. We appreciate it. All right, Sheriff Salabar, Salazar says it's different for each person in Bear County. Depending on the conditions... Mm. Uh, they don't all have to go down I on Halloween, you. but some of them do. All, all right. right. More with Warren Rima coming right up. KTSA.